Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. At the bottom of the application window is the status bar. Within this bar you can see one of the three modes for Microsoft Project at the left end. Ready, Edit, or Enter. If the word Ready appears, Project is ready to do just about anything that you want. This is the mode that you want to see displayed in the status bar before you begin a task. The next mode you will often see displayed in the status bar is Edit. If you are in Edit mode, that means that you have changed the content of a selected cell in your project file, but that you have not moved from the cell to finish editing the contents. Many commands will be unavailable to you when you are in Edit mode. The last mode that you will see is called Enter mode. This mode is very much like Edit mode, but it is shown when you are initially entering information into a blank cell within a project file. Just as when using edit mode, however, most commands will be unavailable to you until you finish data entry in the currently selected cell, which then returns you to ready mode. Next to the cell mode indicator, you will see the task mode indicator. This determines how project schedules new tasks. It defaults to new tasks manually scheduled, but you can click it to change it to new tasks auto scheduled. When you then create new tasks in your project, this setting determines how the task dependencies will relate to each other when the tasks are linked within a project. For most projects where you want to have the ability to change the duration of a predecessor task and then have project automatically reschedule the linked dependent tasks, you will want to create the tasks using the New Tasks Auto Scheduled Task Mode. We will discuss this feature in the chapter on Tasks. At the far right end of the status bar, you can see the View Shortcuts as well as the Zoom Slider. You can click the View Shortcuts button to quickly switch between the most commonly used views of your project file. You can use the Zoom Slider to change the magnification level of the view of your project file. This does not modify the file in any way, but rather changes your perception of how close or far away the content appears on screen. You can click and drag the slider towards the minus symbol or left to decrease the magnification level. You can also click and drag the slider to the right or towards the plus sign to increase the magnification level. For many views, such as the default Gantt chart view, note that this changes the time scale aspect shown in the view but does not change the magnification of the task list shown in the view. It does magnify all aspects of graph views when it is used. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.